It's a fantasy draft. We have to take this legend right. And then, I don't know, I'm still to simulate the rest of the picks and keep Neil Yakupov on our team until he retires. It is what it is. See, so yeah, we got a bunch of pro Ottawa guys because my cousin's an Ottawa fan here and you like uh, Ottawa. Bunch of prospects for 2022. Some for 2021, I'm pretty sure. Eventually, what I'm going to start doing is when I lag out, I'm just going to make a not live. See, we even got Connor Bedard. Maybe he's too high. Maybe what I say. Okay, here's my opinion on the 2023 draft. Matvey Mishkov is one of my favorite prospects I have ever seen. Like, and he's amazing. What he does is crazy. So, yeah, I figured it out. We're going to get into the league here. Um, we're probably uh, no uh, gonna let the computer simulate the picks and except for our first time one. Class, I don't know why it was struggling to pick what it was there. Kind of funny. Um. Hold up. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be. Hmm. Should I be Edmonton? Because of, you know, we played for him. Drafted first overall by them. I don't know. I don't know, I think I might just be Dallas, but I like seeing success for my favorite team. <laughs> All of Minnesota's top three players being defensemen. It's kind of interesting. I don't know what roster it's on, but um, maybe I'll just go random. Nah, I don't like doing Columbus like that. I'll just be Edmonton. <laughs> okay, and the Pacific. It's going to be a fantasy draft anyway. I wonder what would make it brutal if we put our pick as first overall. Just to mock us. Now nah, we'll randomize it. Uh, I don't like player morale. Cap's good. Hate fog of war. Now nah, don't touch my lines. Oh yeah. Doyle. Going to turn injuries off because injuries are... Because we can't let our boy Neil Yakupov get injured, right? Uh, nah, nah, pretty sure I just turned the soundtrack off, right? Yeah. Mm. Where is the... Why am I blanking here? Nah, we want the score... We want this to be insane, so we're going to put it all on high. Um, accessibility? No. I was just on accessibility. Quick settings, it's gotta be on. Injuries off. Difficulty for games, I don't know why I, I was playing Pro or All Star. Um, my brother does use this though. Uh, auto save, yeah, I'll keep it on, I guess. Trade difficulty, I'll keep it on medium. Uh, yeah, auto scouting's fine. doesn't <laughs> really want to work here we're gonna go one two three twenty nine I don't know cuz then we'll get a good player if we send next round kinda wanna do first I'll do a randomize it three until I'm in the top fifteen one two three Nah, not. Know what? One. Yeah, whatever. Two. I said in the top fifteen. <sighs> 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 
Oh man. <laughs> oh man. I I just stopped myself from sneezing there. See, look at all these great players we could pick from. Jack Eichel, Victor Hedman. Should have switched David Posternock to franchise. Kapu Kaka, yep. Go down here. Let's just hope they don't take the bad contracts. I think I made him 74 high top, uh, high bottom six. Yeah, I think I just seen him. There he is. <laughs> this, uh, it's gonna make me feel so bad because they seriously just get a Fortnite invitation. Makes me feel so bad because HL high top six, yeah. Oh no, I don't know why. Whatever, the rosters are screwed up. Some of the players, like Lafreniere. I made Tim Stutzel medium franchise. I like that. Because I think he's better than uh, Lafreniere. If I'm being honest. No, not make pick, sim pick. I'm not getting inv invitate. I'm getting an invitation for a game I don't even play. A sim entire draft. Oh man, how bad could the computer screw this one up? Oh man, I feel so so bad taking Yakupov second overall. Makes me feel like an idiot because here are any names we got: Barzell, Debrinket. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, uh, Vitaly Kratsov, oh, Shane Pinta, one of the guys I created, that's cool, Raphael Lavois, or, our last pick was Sean Day, legendary player, Barzell, Debrinket, Nugent Hopkins, Truba, our goalies, uh, ain't keen on that, but, you know, it is what it is, Sean Day, I'm still Yam Bednar, isn't he like medium starter? You could probably tell I'm not great at this. Shane Pinto, I created him. I think I made him 68 medium top six or six, 69 or 70. Nice. <laughs> Peyton Krebs, I see. So I guess the team, the computer did choose young players. Barzell. I find it funny because it's one of the... Oh, we have him on our second line. Uh, Alex Nylander, who I believe... Yeah. Oh, Ryan Johansson. I thought his name was Ryan Johnson. I'm like, who is that? Nick Ritchie. Oh, never even seen Nick Ritchie. Adam Lowry. I don't like the defense. I don't like the goalies either. Uh... You know, Yim Bednar. Hey, Raphael Luff. Oh my gosh, I cannot say this guy's name. I was going to say, is he a power forward? Well, that first line, I like it. But, you know, Vitaly Kratsov. Sammy Blay? <laughs> Do I play him here? Nah, the chemistry's horrible. Nah, never mind. I'll play him on my th Sammy Blay though. He can't play center, can he? Uh, face offs, face offs, face offs. So, yeah, he cannot. Kratzoff can? No, uh, 70. Did I make Yakub? Yeah, 66. But did I make it? Oh, yeah, I made his fighting skill 99 for a joke. Isn't he on an expiring contract though, Ryan Nugent Hopkins? That's the thing. Thing about putting it on high dimension scoring is they're gonna ask for a boatload of money. But then, devastatingly sad. Okay, we're gonna start this off by making trades. Oh, the never even seen Ryan Merkley, but that's interesting. Shane Pinto, yes, yeah, 70 overall. Drafted, I think, 32nd overall by Ottawa. Nick Ritchie, 
no value, man. Oh, there's Sean Day. <laughs> what? When did he go? Ah. And of course, our lowest value player is Nelly Akapov, right? We're gonna be horrible in the first season. That's what I plan. Do I plan on keeping DeBrinket and Barzell? Yes, a hundred percent. That's what I plan on, though. Jamie Ben. It's nice. But you know, sometimes there's this one player I always trade for. Go Arizona's got a Vetchkin, okay. Jake Tabrask, okay. Oliver Wallstrom. There's Paul Colson. Jillian Gochia? <laughs> yeah. None of these play wait, is that him now? Um Where is he? I always trade for him. Oh yeah, I also made John Jason Badurka. Mason Appleton's value is like nothing. And he grows sometimes for me. You know what? I'll take a risk on Mason Appleton. What do I trade though? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> so I'll go bam. Sean Day. That's probably going to go through. They have Matthew to chuck. Okay. Like how you speak Florida. Nah. Here. Oh, yeah, of course. We're not in the value of what we need to be offering. Picks have insane value in this game. Ah, well. Okay, Mason Appleton on the team. Not who I was looking to trade for. Bigger name than that. What team is that, Florida? Yeah. Wenberg's still high elite. I don't, I don't like that. Gabe Velarde? I'm like, nah, it's not Gabe Velarde. Alex Newhook I also made. I like Newhook as a prospect. Turcotte. Who I believe. There might be two Alex Turcotts. Okay. Whatever. Kyle Connor. Okay. I know I, w I get off track a lot. Andreas Athens. See you, huh? Uh, what the devil should have done? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sean Monahan, man. I do not like Sean Monahan at all. Where is he? Imagine he's still on the team. It's, you know, it's tempting. Because I do other franchise modes, and he grows like a monster. Believe after the first season one time he was eighty eight overall. Medium elite. Um I'm not gonna trade for him. I mean maybe after. Is this he Oli Levy? <laughs> Says he gets crazy sometimes. Kirby Doc, not one of the players I was thinking about, but I realize he's here, so now I'm thinking about him, that's great. I called it. This is the player I'm trading for. Joel Faraby. I find it hilarious. I... Li Go back in the video. I literally said that I... I I swear if he's on the same team he's on. And he is. Joel Faraby, one of my favorite players in the league. 
like by far. Peyton Krebs one for one? Question mark. Ah, dang, isn't sufficient at all. I always overpay. It's just two way I'm don't don't at me, man. This guy, who is this? Mikey Anderson? Yeah, I f figured. He could grow. Not gonna plan on it though. Mason Appleton. Not gonna trade him right away. Adam Larry. We could get rid of him. He's got a bad contract. Well, it's not bad. It's just. And we want to be as bad as possible. Future set. Where the future sixth get it done? Yep, yeah, okay. I'm not keen on sixth round picks. Yeah, so we got Joel Fairby. Peyton Krebs, I think, was a year younger, but overall wise, Farabee's on him by eight. Joel Farabee is one of my favorite players in the whole league. Like, I don't know how I can ex express that. I don't know. I don't see Nylander growing. The Brinket. I just don't see Nylander growing. You know, if it was his real life value, he'd be not even medium top six. Mate, the most I would give him is low elite. So who had a uh, Cole Caulfield? LA maybe? Whoever it was, I'll make a move with that team. Jesse Bolyarvi, huh? What? Ah, uh, okay. I must like high top six, what? Okay, yeah, the Rangers. Gonna trade Nylander. Not one for one, because that's stupid. Seeing we still have more value to get. Hmm. Let me check this out. What's our defensive prospects looking like? Well, we got Merkley. It's decent. Truba can still get to like 88. Nah, probably more like 87. Montour is probably done. Mikey Anderson, maybe low 80. Probably not though. So not too hot. So I'll add something else on here. Not something crazy, but Henry Nickenen. Winnipeg Jets. Hey, if I do this, this might, it might, I'm not saying it will, but it might go through. Who is it? Uh, yes. It might. If it does, I will be extremely happy. Okay, so the value is just a little bit off. Too far off is not that much. You know what? I like having pit. Oh goodness! No, this is no. I'll just go back in. And go, go out. Didn't help anything. Just go. Yeah, that's how you do it. We don't have our second this year. I do know that. No, I don't know that. I don't remember what trade that was in. Probably not even a third. Maybe a next year's fourth. Hmm. And this year's sixth. Fifth. Goodness. 2023 is fifth. Yep, there we go. We got Bo and Byron. I like the trade. You know, it was a good trade. Um, I'll go through the rest of the teams. Like, best potential players. If you want to slow down the video. And look at them. Uh, they have Jack Hughes. I didn't think I made Jamie Dry still high elite. Like I said, I made some of the prospects insane. I don't know why. I don't know what was going through my crazy head. Pittsburgh, Sebastian Ajo. Oh, no, 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 no. So you're telling me they had, like, I think, pick 29. They get Miro Haskinen. 
I think it's like three picks later and they get Sebastian Ajo. That's something. Connecting on the Penguins? <laughs> what? Ricard Raquel. I like Ricard Raquel. In real life, I don't like the team he plays for. Absolute least favorite team by far. Yeah, here, there's Dylan Holloway. Another guy we made. Um, Justin Barron. I mean, he's already in the game, but. St. Louis Guts. Quinn Hughes, Andre Spezhnikov, Bo Horvat. I like that team a lot, actually. Yeah, no way that guy's grown to anything. Matthew Phillips has the better chance. To... William Nylander. Huh. You know what? How much value does Ryan Nugent have? Question mark. Okay. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. We wanna be bad, we could trade Brandon Montour. Feel like that would go through. So if we had someone who I forgot to change their potential, because I, that's no way he's growing. We want someone that could potentially grow. Twenty-year-old. Yeah, somebody like that. Let this go through. Isn't sufficient at all. Okay, that isn't a good sign. But um. Sammy Blaze value though. I want to give up a second. I feel like that's too much. Oh. Didn't even need to give up a second. So far, some of the trades I made I really like. Nylander. Honestly, that's pretty good. We got Appleton for Sean Day, a sixth, and Hal Luke, who was like low top nine or medium top nine. Peyton Krebs for Peyton Krebs, Adam Lowry, and a sixth for uh, Joel Faraby. Nylander, Nickinen, I think a couple picks. No. Yeah, like a fourth and a fifth for Cole Caulfield and Bowen Byron. And then Montour, a third. And Nugent Hopkins for Nylander, Zaka, and Etienne, who I think was like 74, 20 years old, medium top nine. I like the trades we're making, honestly. It's as long as this boy, Neil Yakupov's in the lineup. He's on the team until he retires. Huh. Is there any way we could be get better? Ryan Johansson, huh? I uh, bet that works, but that also works. That don't work. I want Faraby. Yeah, this this works. Yep. Keep the lines like that. Defense is gonna be horrible. Might even trade Trooper or Manson. We could get better. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's not like the computer drafted horribly. They got some decent. Truba. If we go, nah, we can't trade with Anaheim. Jacob Bernard Docker, who I didn't make. Shut up. Greenway? I think that's a no no. Who are we taking out of the lineup for Nelly Akapov? He's got to be in our lineup, sadly. Not sadly. Where's Fair? 
Excuse me. How dare you put him that low, man. Nylander. There's one more person I liked. The Johansson's got chemistry. I was going to trade him for uh, Connect Me. Might be something in the future. I don't know why I just hit him. Uh, record book, but... Now what? We're gonna get scouts, actually. We're just gonna get a bunch of scouts. Um... Let's check the draft class. Maybe a medium franchise guy got thrown in there? No. I think I made a lot of high elites by accident. All I know is this draft is deep. Well, Mecklen, I might have made high top six. Probably not. Oh my goodness. There it is. I don't know why I couldn't find the sign scouts. Pro scouts get out. Need to sign eleven scouts, okay. It is what it is. Three. Two more? Yeah. There we go, there's the scouts. This is what I do with my scouts. I don't, don't get. I fire all the pro ones, get amateur ones. So the draft, like, you can get steals and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in the games and see how long it takes Neil Yakupov to score. First game is a 42 lost in New Jersey. All right. Probably gonna see a lot of L's here. Not a lot of dubs. And before this season, I'll make an explanation about a player. I was really not that high on Jack Hughes. I thought he was going to be probably a bust, and I thought Lafreniere was going to be amazing. 
Well, Lafreniere can come back still. I think that's why I have him high franchise. Because he, I thought he was going to be incredible. No goals for Yakupov. Let's see. Oh, Jordan Green may have got another one. Let's see when his first goal is. Nail Yakupov gets two goals. Okay. Hat trick for Nail Yakupov. <laughs> Legendary. The Yak attack is back. In his third game, he scores it. His third game from his return to Russia, he gets three goals. Legendary. Nail Yakupov. The Yak attack is back. Well, I'm going to sim to the deadline, you know? I find that incredible. Yak attack. Just being legendary. Trade offer, Sammy Votnin and a fourth for a second. Is that Sammy Votnin? Yeah, I think so. Get out of here with that, Ottawa. Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to do horrible. It is incredible to me how good this team is actually doing. That should be what the crowd chants in the thing. Oh wow, no, I'm not watching my own stream. I'm on the account, I'm like, oh, I had never even seen that trick. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. No, oh, check this out. Ryan Johansson, okay. I'm like, how is this team doing so good? If we make the playoffs, where's the 12 goals? Yak attack, but one assist. <laughs> How's our team actually looking? No handsome point of game. That's good. The brink at 15 14 for 29 points. Nylander. Barzell's kind of underperforming. Nick Ritchie, Pavel Zaka. Bowen Byram? Nice. Mason Appleton. No, that's Victor Mette. This team is doing good. It's surprising. But we'll check out the league. Probably insane numbers. We don't talk about it. Really? No way this guy's that good. Okay, so we got Matthews on the Rangers with 47 points. Carlson on the Red Wings. Shifley on the Sabres. Stamkos on the Jets. Marshan on the Sharks. Nashville with McDavid. Barkov to, in Boston. There's our first thing. Panarin and Stamkos are on the same team. Barkov in line A? 30 goals? I like... That's... that's Patch ready on the Calgary Flames. Andres Lee? <laughs> Andres Lee's... Uh, I never... Nobody ever asks me anything because... Nobody ever goes to the streams anyway. Pajot and DeKaiser for a second. Not get out. Boston, you suck. Actually, I like Boston. Nobody ever asks who my favorite player is. In the whole league. And that's out. And the player is Alexander Radulov. 
for a lot of reasons. When I was younger, I watched hockey with my dad. <laughs> I always liked his name, so. Became my favorite player. I don't want to be good. I want to be horrible. But we're still getting wins. Stop offering me David Sabar Savard. I'm probably gonna leave my team alone in the playoff in the thing deadline. Gabriel Landeskog, Jake Musson, Dougie Hamilton, nobody I want. Anton Hudobin, probably my favorite goalie I have ever seen play. <laughs> you know what? Here, we'll just go. Available. Trade alert already. Two first, Jonathan Dolan for Sammy Vautinen, Lars Zeller, and Gustav Nyquist. No, I'm just going to sim it. Yeah, that's the Ottawa trade there. Shattenkirk to Calgary for a first, second, Julian Gauthier. You can still grow. Um, you know what? Why not? I mean, the cap. We we have the cap, so. 58 points for Ryan Johansson here. How's Yakupov doing? Anyways, so Nel Yakovov has 24 goals and 3 assists. Yeah. Tally Kratzov, yeah. You know, nobody's really impressing me. Nobody's really been disappointing. Uh, Yakovov's 27 points is more than I would expect him to get. We'll check the league. I see Braden Point was top 10. Matthews and Stamkos. Check rookies. Karel Kaprizov, yeah. He's on the team I don't like very much. Lafreniere, who's way too high. I know, I messed it up. Okay. Tim Stutzel, my favorite player in the draft so far. Now, where is, uh... Marco Rossi is my favorite player in the draft, but favorite player to watch is a different story. I love Marco Rossi, like, absolute legend. You know? 
didn't want to make a no I probably messed up my line so, so I better go fix that cuz Yakupov won't be in the lineup and we need him in the lineup oh huh. he's a little tired there no 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 yeah you're going here Byron Ryan Merkley went up by two Let's say we're gonna take out Uh, great cap issues. Can't do anything about it either. Screw it. We'll leave the door off in the miners. I don't really know if we're going to make the playoffs. I wouldn't want to because I wanted to get Bo and Byron in my future. Uh, future uh, defenseman because Ellen Powers there. We might make the play. It's a possibility. We do it. We might make it. Even with taking Neil Yakupov with our second overall pick in the fantasy draft, we'll do it. We can do it. Come on. Pl nah. I think we're we did it. No, no, no. Stop it. Nah. Wow. Great start, guys. Jacob Bernard Docker, huh? Our only goal. But it happened. Mason Appleton went up. That's good. Nylander went up. Debrinket went up. Okay, I'm happy. Bowen Byram's on something, man. He only had 17 points, but... Never even checked our goalies. Goalies won't necessarily be high overall, so. <sighs> yeah, we'll see what Yakupov finished actually with in the. 75 from Ryan Johansson. Yakupov only added three more assists. No more goals, Yakupov? Like, he's, he slowed down there. Joel Farabee? Yeah, 55 points for the guy. Stamkos. Patrick Klein, I still get it? Nope. Matthews. By two. Malkin. Anyway, back to the slot. I mean the playoff series. That's great. That's good. Nope. I had hope. Yeah, we're probably... We need a reverse sweep, so I'm not even going to look at the games. I mean, it is a miracle team, so... Nah, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. We could try to trade up, but...
Is it really worth it, though? Uh, so you're telling me I got the Jack Adams, right? I'm gonna check awards. Islanders win the cup. Okay, that's great. Islanders. Toronto gets the presidents. Minnesota. Stamkos. Stamkos. Barf. Get out of here, Carlson. Krill Kaprizov. I can't. I always say Kaprizov or Kaprizov. I don't know. Auntie Ranta. Jennings and Vesna. Dylan with the Masterton. Our coach got the flipping best coach of the year. That's crazy. Jonathan Taze gets a silky. Finally, someone not named O'Reilly Bergeron or Kopitar wins it a lot. Barkov gets the Ted Lindsay. And the person I don't like gets the Maurice Richard. I don't like Toronto. Don't like Pittsburgh. I don't like Anaheim. What a jump! Jumping from first—I mean, thirteen to first—they're gonna want to trade the pick. So it won't necessarily be hard to trade for. I don't know. It's a possibility we get the pick. They don't want to trade it? Question mark. Drysdale's on the trading block. He grows like crazy. Um. Yeah, how am I supposed to get this? Ryan Merkley's got to be one of the pieces in here. Um, Shane Pinto's 81 overall. Don't expect that, but um. It's going to be an overpay. I wouldn't hate this if it happened. Isn't sufficient at all. Um, second is what I'll give up. Next year is yeah, sure. Why not? Definitely an overpay, though. But Nears is first, Power second, Clark's third, Rowdy's fourth. Did say I wanted someone to go with uh I did it. But Nears is probably higher. They didn't take him. No, they're the same. Okay. Now they're going to take a two rowdy, I'm assuming. Yep. Sim to pick 16. Don't want to take a bum, but some... Simone, I know, is medium elite. Want a two-way guy here. We'll see. Probably want... I think they're both two-way. But I... Carson Lambos might be... Offensive. I'd rather that. He's two way, but I think Simone's higher overall, too. Yeah. Check for. We'll call a timeout here. Check for steals. Uh, low elites are great to have. Low elite here. McBain. Lowly here. That's a good pick for 22 in the second round. Yeah, so we pick third round pick here. Low top 40. We'll check for gems or busts. None. Samuel Howe. If I just randomly take him, I feel like it'd be funny. I'm not going to, because that'd be Tommy Bird. 
As for Wallstead, I know it's a medium starter. Unless I made him crazy. I know these guys I really want. Low top 4D is looking like our best option here. That's what I'm going to do. 109. I'm assuming Wallstead just got taken. Oh, he's right there. I might take him. You know what? It's a reach. Could get him next pick. It's probably nothing special, but I know Wallstead is. What was that guy? The was it this guy? I think it was. Is he from Belarus? Can't tell, but um, I think that was him. He probably would have been better than uh, Wallstead, but is what it is. Tommy Bird gonna be the swing and the miss. there or whatever his name was he's probably gonna be like medium fringe yeah I figured that's the draft got two elite defensemen Top four is looking good for the future. I don't worry about coaches. I'll just let them rotate however they want. But Barzell needs a new contract. Seven mil. Um, it's only for two years. Uh, you know what? Nick Ritchie, you probably did something crazy. Uh, I'm probably gonna... Mete. You'll probably get... Oh, he didn't want it. So he's probably not gonna sign. Shane Pinto were 100% re-signing. I don't care. Zadorov. Let's keep him at what he's at here. We're getting Bernard Docker back. Owen Powers gotta come back. Yakupov is has to come back. Cole Caulfield here. Wait, is that John Jason Paderka? He's in the game. <laughs> I'm like, who is that? I'm like, okay. Didn't think he was in the game. So we have two John Jason Paderkas. One way better than the other. Check goalies. Jari's locked up. Our backup we probably need. Let's keep this guy. Wallstead will give him. Do three. Yeah, keep it like that. Goalie, goalie. Yak's back. Barzell's back. Richie's back. Pinto's back. Assuming they all are pro. Mate didn't. Hmm. 
<clears throat> okay. Mete, we gotta bring back. There we go. All the guys we want back are back, so. Free agents is here. Free agent time. It's a time. Sam Reinhardt. You see? You see this? 11.9 million dollars. Now I see why you don't play on, uh, on, uh, high cement and scoring. And Dougie Hamilton's there. I'll bring him in. Dougie Hamilton, and there's one more I want. Landis Cog. He should sign. Um, let's take it day by day. Landis Cog's here, and Hamilton's here, okay. Okay, I'm keeping Hamilton. Landis Cog, I'm probably gonna uh, figure out what I'm gonna trade him for. Dougie Hamilton's a keeper. Landis Cog can go. We'll try to get him to a team that wants him. It's probably ain't gonna be anyone within the salary cap. Oh, Florida. Florida. I just drafted Luke Hughes. Matthew DeChuck, okay. Pavel Zaka. Hello? <laughs> he's going back to... He's looking like fifth overall picks that psych... Hmm. Really? Like, what was he? Sixth overall? Fifth overall? Okay. This next third could get this done. Could get me Matthew to Chuck. I swear. I'll no, it didn't get me. A second and throw in the third if we need it. Now it isn't sufficient at all. This game really likes screwing me over. Ah, they lied. Matthew to Chuck's on the team. On Edmonton too. Calgary. He went to Calgary. Yeah, whatever. It's not like I have cap on anyway. My internet's been gradually improving.